Welcome back everyone, this is Tyler from Pro Physique, and today we're going to talk about whether or not you should have a cheat meal in your diet plan. Alright guys, so today we are talking about cheat meals, cheat days, and should they be included into your weekly, your daily routine as you're dieting or your diet plan, whatever. So first of all, where did uh, cheat meals and cheat days, where did that term come from? Well, that came from when clean eating uh, started getting quite popular. Uh, what would happen is that people would restrict themselves so much throughout the week. Uh, you know, uh, they would not enjoy foods that they actually enjoy or they actually like. They would be forcing down, you know, chicken breasts, plain rice, you know, plain veggies, you know, nothing too fun with the goal in mind of having a, you know, a big blowout day uh, where they get to enjoy all the foods that they actually like. Um, they don't have to restrict themselves. They can just go crazy basically. And that serves as the motivation for, you know, really trying to get through the week of, you know, really maybe not enjoying your food, but it's clean eating and it's good for you, so I gotta do it, right? So that's where this term came from, the cheat, or the, the cheat meal, cheat day. So is this something that you should have in your, in your plan, let's say? I would say no. And the biggest reason is, is that it can develop a, you're, you can develop a really bad relationship with food. Uh, because the term cheating implies that you're you're doing something wrong, which is not the case with food. Um, there is no good food. There is no bad food. Uh, you know, it's just food. It's just energy. There is no morality when it comes to food. Um, that's just not the case. And so, when we get into the mindset that you know we are cheating on our diet, um, we start to associate you know these foods with feelings of guilt and and feelings of it being bad for us. When in reality, that's not the case, and then we start using the gym as punishment after these cheat meals or cheat days as a means to, oh, I need to make up for cheating on my diet, or I need to you know, severely restrict myself now because I cheated on my diet. And so we start to develop this, this mental relationship, this, this bad relationship with food of, uh, of oh I cheated, got to go punish myself, got to restrict myself. Oh I cheated, and then you just get into this vicious cycle of, of just seeing food as bad and seeing food as good. When again, just like I said, that's not the case. So this is definitely something that I don't really think should be in in anyone's plan or idea. Um, you know, I tell a lot of my clients that if you feel like you would be better to be consistent. Put a treat at the end of the day, right? Put, you know, plan your day around a treat. So let's say you enjoy three Oreos at the end of the day, all right? So that's your bedtime snack. Well, plug that in and then plan the rest of your day around those three Oreos, okay? Fit these quote unquote bad foods into your daily routine, and you are actually going to find that you're going to be able to be a lot more consistent with your macros. Um, you know, with the healthier foods, uh, just by knowing that you're going to be able to have a treat at the end of the day. Uh, and again, I encourage you though to not see this as a bad food or good food. It's just a food that you really enjoy and that you would like to fit into your daily routine. That's going to be all that it is. Um, I know for me, sometimes it's, I like to plan my day around a bowl of cereal, right? I know that if I can have that bowl of cereal, that's just going to help me be a little more consistent throughout the day with other things. Uh, because I know that I've kind of got that bowl of cereal waiting for me. Um, so having a cheat day really should not be uh, in your vocabulary because there really is no such thing as that. Uh, food is not bad. Food is not good. I cannot state that enough. And even if you do have you know, one day where you just really went crazy, um, don't feel guilty. Uh, one day is not going to make a difference in the long run. Just either 
go a little bit lower calories the next day and have a good hard gym session or just get back right on or get back on track and again have another good gym session right use those that use that extra energy uh, to get a great pump uh, great just a great gym sesh so that's going to be everything for today guys um hope you enjoyed it please hit subscribe uh, i'd love to hear from you ask questions leave comments thanks for watching have a great friday